Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to the Scan Tool Network. In this video, it's a quick demonstration of the iCarsoft US version 2.0. Uh, if you are interested in this tool, make sure you use the links in the description below this video because there are fakes, there are clones out there on the market and they can damage your vehicle. So this is the iCost of the US version 2.0. We're in a 2017 Ford Focus, which has check engine light and airbag light and some ABS warning lights on the dashboard there. We're gonna use this tool to diagnose these faults and uh, reset the warning lights on some of them in any case. And it's just really a demonstration of how the, how the whole sort of tool and diagnostic process works. So we've got the tool plugged into the diagnostic port and we're gonna click into diagnostics, click into Ford, or whatever manufacturer yours is. In our case, it's Ford. And best thing to do, quickest thing to do is to go automatic identify. So click on Ford, it's just gonna quickly identify the vehicle. And then it will then present you with a list of systems you can start diagnosing. So in this case, let's have a look at the check engine light, for example, that is under the powertrain control module. So if we click into powertrain control module, click on to read fault code, click on the first one, which is read fault code, retrieve continuous memory DTC. And it's gonna give us a fault code, a unique fault code and a description of the fault. Um, in this case, it's P0353, ignition coil C, primary, primary secondary circuit. So there's a fault with uh, co coil C. Um, what we can do is go into clear fault memory. Let's assume we'd put a new coil pack in or a new coil in. Uh, the, all these faults are simulated, by the way, so just in case you're wondering, um, let's, let's assume we'd found that fault, we put a new coil in, and we, we can then go to clear fault memory, and we'll go to F2. When I click F2, just keep an eye on the check engine light. There we go, erase operation done. Um, it's the same for the other systems as well. So let's go to the airbag, which is the airbag light there, and it's restrained control module. We go to, well, we'll show you the fault code first of all. B0028, it's a body fault. Uh, right side airbag deployment control. If you weren't sure what any of these fault codes descriptions and the, the actual unique codes meant, what I would recommend doing is just putting the codes and the information into a Google search engine and you can guarantee that if you're getting these faults other people would have got these faults as well. So the answer will be on there as to exactly what you need to replace, what, what sensor or part you need to replace. Um, for this one we'll just go to clear fault memory, keep an eye on the airbag light, the airbag light has gone and then it would be the same for the ABS system but this we've done this a little bit differently. So we've got to read fault code what we've done is we've unclipped the rear right ABS sensor, so it's giving us the correct fault, C003A, rear right wheel speed sensor. Now we've unclipped the sensor, we haven't clipped it back together, so this is what will happen if you try to erase the fault and you haven't actually fixed the fault. So we go to clear fault memory, it's going to attempt to clear the fault. Erasing fault, erase operation done. So the tool has done all it can. The tool has told the ECU, yep, we, we're gonna clear it. But it's the ECU that is refusing to turn the lights off because it knows that the fault is still present. So that is just an example of what would happen if you tried to erase the fault and the fault was still there, okay? But in most cases, I'm sure you're gonna do, you know, you're gonna fix the fault and then you won't have a problem when it comes to uh, turning off the warning lights. But it does cover a lot of systems as well. Obviously the vehicle that you're in will depend on the systems that you see on this screen. Some vehicles have more systems installed to them than others. And if we go back to the home menu, the home screen, Click on the service menu, it does do some service functions as well. It's important to say though that not all of these service functions work on all, all vehicles. So if you are wondering, let's say a DPF regeneration on a certain car, if it would work, I'd highly recommend contacting these guys and these will tell you as to whether uh, it will work or not. Include your VIN number because they probably will ask you for the VIN number. Okay, so that's it, that's the US version 2.0. It's a great little tool, works on a few different um, American manufacturers. When it comes to Ford, it'll work on the European Ford and the Australian Ford as well. But it's available at Diagnostic World, or just click the links in the description below this video, and it will take you directly to the genuine and official product. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helps.